Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to resolve this error, writing to signal is not allowed. So many of you, you must be using signals in your application and sometimes you may get this kind of error, writing to signal is not allowed. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what is causing this issue and how to resolve it efficiently. So let's go back to our code. So here if you can see I have created one simple signal where I am updating its value by doing increment and decrement. Okay. Also I have an uh, effect method. In my HTML I have two buttons for incrementing and decrementing value. So but I am getting this error. Writing signal is not allowed in a computed or an effect by default. So if you closely pay attention to this problem statement in this statement only you will get the error what it is saying the signals is no, not allowed in computed or effect by default that means you need to pay attention to your effect method or computed method so here if you see in my effect method i am trying to update the value of the signal so this is not correct and we should not do it and i am also not recommending to uh, update this value okay so if you are doing any update operation inside effect or inside computed you are trying to update the signal then that is not recommended okay you should not do it so to get rid of that issue you need what you need to do is you need to comment out or remove that particular line so now you can see i am not able to see that particular error on my screen and my signal is working perfectly fine okay now let me add it back let's say for some reason though it is not recommended practice you should not update the signal inside effect or computed if you still required and you want to get rid of error and you anyways want to update the value inside effect so for that you need to add one more thing like after this curly brace you can give one comma you can create one object within that you need to write allow signal writes true then it will allow you to update the value okay so now you can see that particular thing is disappeared but see this particular effect method is getting too many times so you are performance may hamper and also your application may get stuck so i am not recommending it but for some any, uh, for any reason if you want to still update the value inside effect or computed make sure that you are using allow signals true so that's it for this video i hope you like this make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this